Islam and its relationship with other religions, similarities, differences, and misconceptions. In a world often divided by religious differences, Islam stands as a fascinating bridge that connects the core beliefs of Christianity and Judaism while also presenting its unique worldview. Despite the misconceptions and conflicts that have marked its history, Islam shares profound similarities with these faiths, from the belief in a single, omnipresent God to the moral imperatives that guide daily life. Yet the differences, such as the Islamic rejection of the Trinity and the divine sonship of Jesus, offer a rich tapestry of theological debate and cultural diversity. This exploration seeks to unravel these intricate relationships, shedding light on the true essence of Islam and its efforts to foster peace and understanding in a complex world. Before moving ahead with the video, I request you to please scribe the channel for more educational videos. Islam shares a close relationship with other major religions. For instance, in Islam, moral conduct is evaluated by how one serves the Creator. The teachings of Islam suggest that moral values should not be based solely on human understanding of good and evil, as these perceptions are subject to change and thus cannot provide a definitive standard of morality. This concept is common in other religions, where moral laws are guided largely by the love of God. Muslims are taught to believe in a supreme being who is omnipresent, a belief that is also present in other faiths. However, Conflicts sometimes arise between Islam and other religions. Historically, numerous wars have been fought over religious ideologies, and Muslims have faced discrimination based on their faith. Many of these conflicts stem from misconceptions about Islam. Despite these issues, there are notable similarities between Islam and other major religions, particularly in their monotheistic beliefs. Both Islam and Christianity, for example, believe in the existence of one God, and follow teachings derived from their respective holy books. Additionally, both religions recognize Jesus, though they differ in their views of his nature and role. Christians believe in the divinity of Jesus as the Son of God and the concept of the Trinity, which Muslims reject, viewing Jesus solely as a prophet and emphasizing the oneness of God. Islam also shares significant similarities with Judaism, particularly in moral practices, political systems, and social networks. However, differences exist, such as the Islamic view that Judaism portrays God as biased and domineering, favoring the Israelites over other races. Muslims also disagree with the Jewish conception of God as having a physical form, equating such a view to idolatry. Instead, Muslims believe that Allah is beyond physical definition and not confined by time or space, having created both. Muslims, like Jews, may consider themselves superior to adherents of other religions, but they typically do not express this belief openly. Instead, they strive to promote tolerance, kindness, and integrity in their interactions with non-Muslims, participating in social activities and celebrations, such as weddings, alongside them. Nonetheless, Muslims remain cautious in their interfaith engagements, avoiding participation in rituals and practices that contradict Islamic teachings and refraining from attending meetings that conflict with the principles of Allah. It is evident that Islam is not merely a belief system, but a comprehensive culture and system governing all aspects of human existence. A comparison between Islam and other religions such as Judaism and Christianity, reveals that their practices are fundamentally similar, with differences arising primarily from variations in religious beliefs. Thus, it is unjust to portray Islam negatively based on these differences. The major aspects of Islamic culture are justified by teachings in the Quran. Before conclusion of the video, we remind you to kindly do not forget to like, share, comment, and also subscribe to the channel. Furthermore, Muslims have made significant efforts to establish peaceful and functional relationships with people of other faiths. Acts of terrorism and intolerance are not sanctioned by true Islamic teachings, 
Rather, they are the actions of criminal elements misusing the religion to justify their behavior. Islam is inherently a peaceful religion and should not be judged by the actions of a few extremists. The conduct of such individuals should be condemned on an individual basis, without condemning the entire religion. Thank you for watching.